Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lost Sphinx Gaming. And an update on the Ryzen 5 sooner than I expected. The update has dropped. And this is the screen. You saw this before my last video. But there are a couple of changes to this video. Because, firstly, I do have the PR stunt targets. But the big one is that on the Hot Wheels Championship, it is not classic racers, it is extreme track toys in the S2 class. Normally the site where I get my leaked information from is pretty reliable. Although I can only imagine that this was probably changed between the live stream and the update being pushed. So it is extreme track toys in the S2 for the Hot Wheels Championship. Everything else pretty much stands, although I am adding an additional option for the speed trap, which is the Lotus Avija, that electric Lotus, which is absolutely crazy. So the details are in the description of this video. So 20 points, yeah, you get the Bentley, really exclusive, no icon for some reason, and the MG, MG3 for 40 points. Paul's phone is there. It's the KTM Expo R, which is a very cool car. That's what you got to do. You go own and drive it. You got to get 12 stars from speed traps, earn five air skills, and win a road race. What I will say is, if you do use my custom blueprint, which I'm going to suggest for this, this is a track toy, and it may mess up your treasure hunt challenge. So definitely do the treasure hunt challenge before. You do the Forza from. You got the shop up there, the Connie Seg CCGT. You got trial, and you got an event lab. So that's pretty much all as it was before. For the shop, it's the Connie Seg CCGT, the Farid Ruida beer sundress, a parade car horn, and the Ferrari F12 TDF. If you want to waste a bit of money, want to waste your points. Wheel spins are also available. There is no Tommy Bargains this week, it seems. It must have only been for one series, which is a shame because that was a very good way to build cars. You've got the Trials, Super Saloons on the road again. You get the Aston Martin DB11 for this one, a class in Super Saloons. You've got Chihuahua Circuit, so you know, small yappy type dog. Lookout Circuit and Riviera Sprint. For the trial, I'll be using the Porsche Panamera Turbo 2017. Forza Tune, sheer code up there. And the tune this week is by Imaginary Monster. You've got the Event Lab here for the white modern Puebla dress, high speed ring, GT cars, A class. Yeah, why not? It's a custom route, so I can't really show you much of that. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too bad. So this is what you've got. High speed ring 5 Runden, which is what it was up on my playlist. And I'm going for Maserati Gran Turismo S. Championship Chun. I like this car. This is so cool. This is such a cool car. You've got PR stunts here. Hotel and Coast View. S2 class, anything goes. For hotel, the target is 508.5 feet, which isn't too difficult, actually. It isn't. Just take a run up from the hill opposite the ramp and you'll fly through it. Literally, well, you literally will. You'll fly through it. Just try not to hit the hotel. For coast view, it's 220 mile an hour, which is a bit mad. It is. It's quite difficult because the last turn when you go from the south up towards the north, you have to slow down a little bit. But it can be done. And I did do this when I was testing this in the Mosler because I do like the Mosler for PR stunts because it's cheap, it's accessible, it's powerful. It's, it's a reason it was called, what was it, King of the PR Stunts or PR Monster or something like that by the developers in Horizon 4, but that's what I'm using. Hot Wheels, Cross Country Racing, HWCC, and that will work pretty well. It does take a decent run up though, from the 
safe size of the map so from the bottom going up to the top and it will do it however if you've got the lotus avija force tune on it this is cool you can take a much shorter run up and not worry about going off on the corners too much and it will do it it's about one mile an hour difference in through the the camera so it's not going to make it blisteringly fast but it'll definitely get it done with a lot less messing about so the most will do it so will the lotus you got championships you got the colossus road endurance track toy story and grand tourers the colossus you get a bmw m4 for this super gt cars in the s1 class and the events for this are the colossus you know that massive road race 34.3 miles across the map just one fair enough but that's definitely gonna be an interesting one to to do and i'm going to use a ferrari portofino for this seasonal pr s1 this is a very nice car and very cheap in the auto show as well for road endurance it's a class in modern muscles you get the chevy camaro 15 for this one that's a bit of a change you got five player azul bolo oco panoramica estadio and lanurus lanurus yeah that one so yeah you've got five events well it did say it's road endurance right and i'm gonna go for a dodge challenger srt hellcat trial churn very fun car this will be right for this so that is the sheer code and the car and the championship and whatnot then you got track toys track toy story you get the ktm crossbow for this one s1 class you've got bar here the plano circuit junus blancas and horizon mexico those are your events for this championship track toys i'm gonna hit up a bmw m4 gts bmw drift tune s1 all good very fun car and definitely sort you out for this one then you got Grand Tourers, A class in GT cars. You get the Caterham R500 first. You know, the one you need for a photo challenge. Although I think it is auto show available. <laughs> you can't be bothered with this. It's Sierra Verde Sprint, Archimelige Circuit, and Descanza Dorado Sprint. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go for Maserati, Maserati Gran Turismo S, Championship Chorn. This is a fun car, I do like it, definitely like this one. So, looking forward to giving this one a run round. Treasure Hunt, Fast Track, quit playing around and be the first to get this toy to the end of the road. 100 force points as a reward and 3 points on the playlist. So... That's what you got. Fair enough. You've also got Apex Superstars. Take a photo of a caterer at the festival. Horizon Open. The winner is you. Complete any Horizon Open event. For the treasure hunt, it is about the track toys and it is win a road racing event in a track toy. And it actually works for me this week. I did it in a regular event, not a custom blueprint. So again, if you haven't done the treasure hunt by the time you're messing around with custom blueprints on Falls Farm. Go and do the treasure hunt. Over here, you've got the Hot Wheels, Turbo Knot, Drift Zone, anything goes, S2 class. And then it's Orange Track Mind, Extreme Track Toys. This is the change. There was S1 Classic Racers, S2 Extreme Track Toys. And that is what we have in the, in the game. So the leaked information I did have must have been changed. It's 215,000 drift score for this one, which is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> this is, I, I hate drift zones. I genuinely, genuinely hate them. And 
it's a pain. Unfortunately, I didn't go and take any screenshots. I totally forgot of the championship. <laughs> you know, early in the morning and all that. Totally forgot, so apologies. Spare. But what I will be using for both of them is the Mosler for Hot Wheels Cross Country Racing. This will do pretty well on the championship as is. And for the drift zone, I switched off the traction stability and ABS, and I managed to do it. I did try doing it in my Lotus. Unfortunately, I just kept spinning my car and failing. So definitely for someone who's pretty poor at drifting like myself, this will do the job, although it is a bit of a nightmare. So that is the playlist for the week, the updated playlist. Everything in here has been verified. Normally when I do this stuff, I get a leaked list and then I go in and I verify it and I put videos out, but because I didn't know when the update was coming down, I just I worked off a leaked list, which, which normally doesn't let me down, but it's had a bit of a hiccup today when it comes to the Hot Wheels. But never mind, so that is that. Hopefully you found this useful, found it interesting. Until next time, thank you for watching, take it easy, and happy driving.